Authority Local Forecast. You know, compared to what we've had it over the course of the last few days and the last few weeks, not too shabby here in early August as far as the temperatures go. Let's take a look at what we're peeking at with your RV World Yuma Skycam. And there's a view of the Yuma area amongst the rest of the desert southwest. How many times have you heard me say that? All right, your satellite radar perspective, what we're not seeing a lot of, we don't see many days where we're actually not seeing a whole lot happening, and that's kind of what's going on as far as thunderstorms are concerned. Wind speed-wise, we've had a lot happen today, at least nominally, over in the Imperial Valley. Yes, a lot going on in regards to the wind. We've got gusts up to 28 miles an hour at this particular point, and of course we do have those temperatures pretty much... You know, more 90s emerging in the Imperial Valley, in particular the southern end of our viewing area. And we shifted over to the Yuma side of things, and it got one 90 plus degree temperature, that be Yuma itself and everyone else still up in that triple digit realm, as you will. So, uh, yes, we're still keeping it somewhat warm, if not hot, at this particular stage of the evening. High pressure continues to hang out, and, well, it's not really having much of an effect in regards to the moisture content, not only on us, but obviously through much of the state as well. That should change a little bit over in southeastern Arizona in the coming days. As far as your metric has goes, we're going to start things off in the 80s. We're going to easily get up into the 100s, and then we'll get back down into the 90s by the 7 p.m. hour as we get on into your Thursday evening. So with that being said, your Yuma International Airport Extended Forecast gives you a look of what we're seeing in regards to the mercury numbers being near normal through the weekend, or at least the end of the week, and then on to the weekend and beyond, we start to go right back up again. But we're not talking about like a dramatic temperature shift. I mean, at most five degrees, I mean, we can live with that. I mean, it's not like it's 118, 119. So uh, we definitely got that going for us for sure. 